Finally, I get to cover the Falcon. In today's video, we're gonna get into an explanation on how to use this attack strategy at Town Hall 10. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today from Town Hall 10 and we got some Valkyries and Boulders, the Falcon attack. I haven't had a chance to cover it yet, so we're gonna go ahead and get some content out there on this and do it in my fashion. So we're over here in Get to the Summit awesome pro level clan make sure you check out their youtube channel their link is down in the description below so we're going to take a look at the standard falcon attack we have valkyries and we got bowlers and the queen walk and all that other good stuff as we look at the base you got a town hall that's on the south side of the base on the outside and you got a multi-target and a single target inferno tower none of that really matters the valkyries just run wild on this base and that is one of the coolest things about this attack so we're going to start out with a queen over on the spell factory she's going to take it out and then she's going to work on the dark barracks and you're going to notice that there will be a baby dragon place here in a moment there's some archers down on the south side working on the builders huts and there's one over here working on the laboratory and they're all outside of range of any archer tower coverage baby dragon place and a group of balloons will move in on that hidden tesla take it down and then move into that cannon and also take it down so the baby dragon has done a phenomenal job with taking out a few buildings to direct that queen towards the northern point of the base there's also an archer up there working barbarian king is going to be dropped and it's going to tank for these two bowlers that are working on two different barracks and they're also getting a double bounce and taking out that archer tower awesome i love it all right, so the queen's going to take out the air defense and she's going to work her way towards our Valkyries. The Valkyries have nowhere else to go. We got a hundred mile wide funnel, rage spell placed, and a heal spell placed for our Valkyries and bowlers. As they move into the base, there is a dragon from the clan castle, as well as an additional rage spell for our Valks. And they're going to cut through the next wall. Bowlers are going to move through and they're getting double bounces on some stuff, taking out the clan castle. And again, another rage spell. So the rage spell is going to carry our Valkyries to the opposite side of the base are going to cut through the walls or they're going to try to cut through the walls we got bowlers over there they're going to take down that multi-target inferno tower and we are down to the final defenses looks like we have two hidden teslas and a few archer towers there's still a stone slammer available guys so the stone slammer has not hit the map yet that's just how incredibly powerful this attack really is i'm actually quite impressed right now so the Valkyries are going to cut through the wall. There's a bowler down there with the queen, and the queen has all of her healers. It looks like, well, she looks like she lost one. And the bowler's Valkyries on the opposite side of the base are going to go in on an archer tower, wizard tower, and they're going to go down. It's okay, though. We still got a stone slammer. So here comes a stone slammer moving in on that hidden Tesla location. They're going to open up, or it's going to open up that compartment. We got some Valkyries coming out of that wall there. And you got the stone slammer moving in on the archer tower up into the cannon. And the queen's ability is going to be used. We got the Valkyries taking down the town hall. Queen following that stone slammer into the final wizard tower. And again, moving in on the final two defenses in the mortar and that hidden tesla i'm i'm actually quite impressed i'm not even mad that's amazing so these are the, this is upon cleanup we're going to go ahead and get into probably two more replays of this attack strategy it was used multiple times in this war well if you missed it in the first replay you're going to get to see it again just done a little bit differently with some minions on the outsides of the base this time around taking a lot taking care of some of these buildings you got a lot of buildings that are outside of range of any archer towers but there are mortars out here so the use of minions is going to come in pretty handy and they're going to take out multiple buildings around the perimeter you got a queen starting out down there in the southeast taking out buildings there's also another baby dragon that's working and taking down a few buildings to direct the queen towards the eastern side of the base or the southern point of this base she is now on the town hall and you will notice that there's also again another stone slammer in this composition so no wall records stone slammer only it looks i mean it's pretty impressive to see actually so we got minions and they're taking out some buildings and the queen's working on the wizard tower and then she's going to redirect over towards the east going into looks like a hidden tesla and then next is going to be the bomb tower and the air sweeper so the air sweeper is going to fall and the queen is going to draw the clan castle troops the main focus now is to take care of those clan castle troops the rage spell is going to be placed taking out the lava hound and the balloon and that hound is going to pop and the queen's focus is going to be clearing these pups 
So we're going to wait a few minutes and let the pups be cleared by that queen. The barbarian king is going to be dropped on the opposite side of this compartment, and he's going to start working on some buildings with the assistance of a few wizards. Now, the idea here is to clear out a nice hundred mile wide funnel for the Valkyries. We want to make sure that we can direct them into the base and not on the outsides of the base. So once that king gets up into a hidden Tesla, his ability is going to be used and the Valkyries are placed on the map and they are clearly targeting the archer tower there. You saw the crosshairs on it. And then a heal spell is going to be placed in the corner of this base. And that's exactly where our Valkyries are going to go. Looks like we have a few walkers and the bowlers are going to stay outside and they're being targeted by some ground set skeleton traps there. Valkyries are going to cut through the wall and then you're going to see a rage spell placed. They're going to move through this wall, taking down the wizard tower. Heal spell placed for the Valks as they move into the queen's location. They gut her, take her down, and the stone slammer is going to move up from the south into the final inferno tower. Air set skeleton trap caught on that stone slammer and the stone slammer is going to move into an air defense and the back end of this attack is actually really cool because the stone slammer is going to move through this archer tower opening up the walls for the valks and the valks are going to go outside and start targeting buildings and assisting with the back end cleanup Stone Slammer moves into that hidden Tesla and then turns into balloons or releases the balloons that were inside. And then you're going to see a single balloon dropped on the location where the Archer Tower is at. Haste spell, freeze spell, air defense falls, cannon falls, and the final Archer Tower falls. Plenty of balloons to get this job done, plenty of Valks to finish it up, and beautiful work by our attacker in this attack. That's a triple. Let's get into the third one, guys. And our third and final replay will be happening about the same exact way. So you're going to see a queen walk over in the eastern side of the base. And then there's going to be a wizard and some barbarians that are going to help with directing her. It's, it's actually really cool what happens here. So we got two barbarians on the builder's huts. And they are basically protecting or drawing the fire from this mortar right here that protects that wizard. And the wizard's gonna take out some stuff. He takes out one building. The queen's gonna take out a cannon and then the rage spell is going to be used on her. And this is going to direct her up towards the northern point of the base or towards the north. We got a barbarian king and a group of wizards up in the north working on some buildings and his ability is going to be used and he is going to move towards the west. How convenient. So he's going to take out a cannon and then the Valkyries are going to be dropped and they're going to move in on this location where the rage spell is placed, followed by the bowlers. Now they're going to hit this channel in the base, in the center of the base, and you got a, a poison spell and you got some clan castle troops there and the queen's working. And then it looks like we got another rage spell and the bowlers are going to take out the inferno tower and the Valks. They've cut through all the way down the south side of the base and they're taking out the archer queen. Down goes the archer queen, taking out an expo in the process and follow, you know, basically leading the way for the bowlers the bowlers are going to follow them up taking out multiple defenses along the way in an archer tower and a wizard tower looks like we got a, a balloon over there in the north coming in on that archer tower and you're going to see the stone slammer dropped here in a moment the queen is working on a wizard tower valkyries are caught on a wall we got some minions and we got some archers on the outsides of the base and here comes our stone slammer stone slammer is going to move down towards that mortar and then it's going to move into the hidden tesla next easily takes out that mortar then it's going to take out the hidden tesla and then go into that wizard tower so i mean that thing is incredibly powerful especially for Town Hall 10 defenses. It's gonna go all the way on the opposite side of the base and assist the bowlers that are over there. Queen is on the other side and her ability is going to be used as we're getting close probably to time, I'm not really sure, but that stone slammer is going to move on the outside and take down that cannon and now move into the final hidden Tesla. And then it's gonna probably backtrack and take out the archer tower once that mortar falls. Queen's on the opposite side with her archers, and they're going to clear out and take out some final buildings over there. Looks like the healers. They have uh, shifted their attention to a pack of archers, and then they're going to change back to the queen. And the final defense is going to go down. We got a little bit of swag here. We got a haste spell swagged, and we have a stone slammer that never even popped until now once the uh, air set skeleton traps take it out. Balloons emerge. Doesn't matter. It's a little too late for that. So awesome attack. Phenomenal work by this clan over here in GS, and that is going to wrap us up for today, guys. This is me doing my best to help you suck less. Smash that like button, subscribe if you like the content, and thanks for watching, guys. Here's the thing, I wasn't no. ready. I was not no. ready. She, she wasn't ready. Go ahead and tell the story, because...
It was, it was playing, can you play Leroy? <laughs> that was his <laughs> Straight up, straight up. And it didn't hit me until last night. Okay, I'm not even joking. so you guys know...